Hello, everybody. Welcome to November's webinar where we are going to be giving thanks for knowledge. We're also going to talk about the different courses that you can sign up for to help fill any gaps of knowledge that you have. Joining me today is Kim Coffey. And then we also have behind the scenes helping out uh, Cassandra and Daniela. And we are, yes. Hold on just a sec. Okay. We're going to let the slides catch up for a moment. So there we are. Hello. And it looks like we've got a little bit of lag. All right. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Gail. I just, I noticed that the slides hadn't caught up with us yet. Thank you for watching us. Um, please do in the comments, let us know where you're joining us from. Um, we'd be happy to say hello. So I'm in Houston, Texas, actually Cyprus. Gail, where are you? I'm in Manville. <laughs> <laughs> Way south on 288. It's fine. It's fine. So but that's why we, we say yeah. Houston. Yes. <laughs> um, so let's talk a little bit about who IFMA is. Both Gail and I are staff here. We're part of your training support team. Um, IFMA's vision and IFMA itself, we are an association for facility managers. We've been around for over 40 years, and the vision is to lead the future of the built environment to make the world a better place. And it sounds pretty lofty, but if you think about the large number of facilities and who runs them, well, it's facility managers. So we feel like it truly is a, a vision. We have over 22,000 members. In fact, I just found out we actually have over 23,000. And our mission is to advance that collective knowledge, value, and growth for facility management professionals like yourselves joining in. Love to see everybody coming in. Um, we are in over 100 different countries. And Gail, I've been seeing a, a lot of different uh, countries yes. coming in. Hello, Germany. Nice. Yes. Yes, we see you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. All right. Next slide, please, Daniela. Thank you. So why you should choose, <clears throat> excuse me, IFMA training is we adapt to your training needs. Uh, we listen to you. We listen to our experts. And we craft our training to follow those needs and we're ever changing and updating if something comes across that maybe oh we're seeing a trend in this we start looking at you guys listening to our our training uh, partners and make sure that we're including everything that's necessary and appropriate so that we can help you stay up to date on current trends um, anything that's going on and then we do have reoccurring global analysis. Kim, do you want to expand on that a little bit? Yes. So we have a competency model and we look at what does it take to actually do your job today? That's why our course materials are ever evolving. Um, but I want to let you know, we don't just change. We watch and see is something an emerging trend? Does it become a competency? So that's why uh, IFMA feels it's very important to stay on top of things and what's going on. We are also ANSI ANAB accredited. And what does that mean for you? Well, that means that IFMA has a third party that looks to see what are our training objectives? Are we meeting those? What are um, the way that we set up all of our course materials? Does everybody have a consistent and fair opportunity with these materials? So if somebody earns their, a their FMP, they went through the same process as the next person and five years down the road. So it just ensures the quality of our training. Next slide, please. And so this is a really great visualization of the training that we do offer. We have everything from beginner level. So if you work, um, if you're brand new to the field, or if maybe you're managing a team of facility managers and you're just not quite sure what they're doing on the daily, the essentials is a great starting point. It provides that terminology so that you're on that same page, you're understanding kind of what that expectation is for that facility manager in their day to day. For those who have been in the field, have that good starting point. The FMP is a great competent, I'm sorry, is a great credential, not competency. Uh, it's a great credential to get started. It sets that foundation level so that you have a good understanding of what the expectations are when you're in facility management. Well, since it sets that foundation, right, in the four yes. main competencies, and it's not Gail and I saying these are your four foundational competencies, this is what you're going to spend your time doing, um, like operations and maintenance, right? That's a big part of your day. 
Sorry, yeah. Gail, go ahead. Oh, no, no, thank you. Um, and then we also have the core competencies, which help you fill gaps of knowledge. Uh, we're going to go into a little bit more of that detail in just a moment. Our SFP covers all things sustainability. Um, it will provide you that authority to be that go-to person to um, who is making those changes in your organization. And then we also have our master level, our creme de la creme, our, is our CFM. So that's where you're going to be able to showcase all of your knowledge and experience is through this certification. If you're unsure where to start, we are here to help you. You can visit our uh, website, go to the Career Compass. It's a quick couple of questions survey. And please expect that somebody is going to reach out to you from our team to just kind of help ask questions to understand where you are, where you want to be. And then we'll figure out what training is going to be best for you. Next slide, please. Okay, so as Gail mentioned, we're going to spend some time here on IFMA's core competency courses. There are 11 so as you can imagine, and, and for those of you who are practitioners and you're, you're doing this job, there's a lot to your job. So 11 separate competencies. The four foundational ones that we had mentioned before make up the FMP. And you'll see here in a moment which four those are. So we have operations and maintenance, leadership and strategy, project management, as well as finance and business or business and finance, however you want to look at it. Those four are the foundational competencies. Outside of that, the remaining seven make up all 11 that's covered under the CFM exam. As Gail had mentioned, the CFM is a certification. So why that's important is a certification will test you on your ability and knowledge to do the job. A certificate like the FMP will teach you on material that we have presented to you. So the CFM does not require that you have any specific training because on the job you're learning and you're applying your knowledge. That's what it's testing. However, you may not have been in a position where you have been able to utilize all 11 competencies. So that's what we're focusing on here today. Knowledge is an amazing, important part of our daily lives. We're very thankful that we have the ability to continue to learn and to grow. And that's why we're focusing on this. We want you to continue to learn and grow and fill in those gaps. Yes. And when you are signed up for any of these uh, competencies, you um, will receive well, sorry, we consider this to be knowledge based training. As Kim mentioned, you get everything that you need when you sign up for if it's an individual competency or if it's a full on credential, you will have everything that you need. You'll have um, availability online 24 seven. So it's all self paced. And then we also have resources once you're in that competency. So there's a downloadable flip book. There's a downloadable PDF. We also have hard copy books if you are better at learning through physical copies. Um, so that's also available as well. You'll see here the study hours that are listed. So we have project management as the competency that we just randomly picked and selected to showcase here. And you'll see that it offers 13 hours potential of study time versus the other two, which are the standalone core competencies. The FMP, because it is a credential, that's why it's going to have a little bit more content to get through. It's going to be, I don't know, what would you say? It's just just it's content rich, yes. right? But it's a foundational <laughs> competency. So if it's something that you do every day or that's going to be a part of your job the majority of the time, it will obviously have a lot more in information for you to learn, a lot of layers and um, not just beginning, but it goes in depth. And by the way, project management is actually a great one to rest on. It's not project management as you might learn from Project Management Institute. It's not just how to manage any project. Really specifically goes into what you're going to be doing as a facility manager. So uh, use cases, uh, case studies, all of those things, best practices, the standards, it applies to projects within FM. And with this, you also get CEUs. 
And what that means is that's based on your amount of study time. It is an estimate from IFMA. We have um, not statisticians, but it's it's another one that that look at these courses. They look at how long it's taking people to get through it. So this is on average, uh, depending on how how many years you may be in a facility manager. This may go quicker. It may go longer. It's not just time that you spend reading the material, but how long does it take you to comprehend it and be able to answer the final assessments? Yes. Next slide, please. So assessing your knowledge, I just mentioned if you're pretty um, familiar with facilities, you've been doing this for a, a while, you could move through those courses more quickly. Um, but maybe you don't need the course at all. I mean, that is absolutely um, an option. And the best way to find out if you need it is to assess your knowledge. IFMA has a great tool available to you. It's IFMA's self-assessment tool. Um, there, it covers all 11 of those core competencies that we just talked about. There are more than 300 questions to help you identify where you may have some gaps in your knowledge. In the image that you see there is how you're going to be rating your own knowledge. This is not IFMA saying that you've been tested on this and that you're knowledgeable. This is strictly for you to ask yourself how much information or knowledge do you have on the topic that's being presented to you. Zero is none. If you've never heard of it, didn't know it existed, mark yourself as a zero. All the way up to five as an expert. Now, the more familiar you are, the longer it may take you to go through this because you really should be truthfully and candidly assessing your knowledge. So each competency could take you anywhere from maybe five minutes to 30 minutes to complete. You can leave and come back as often as you need to in the self-assessment. It also doesn't close down. Once you're complete, you can still go in and update your question. So as you get more training, you will be able to reassess your knowledge and be able to tell where you are. And how can you tell where you are? Well, that's gonna be a dashboard. Yes. So Gail, if you'll explain that. Absolutely, and that that is actually one of my favorite pieces of the self-assessment tool is that you can, it's evergreen. You can continually come back in and update as you learn and experience different things, whether it's on the job training or you're taking competencies to fill those gaps, you can forever come back and update to say, yes, I do have information on that, or I do know more. I've gotten about stronger. Got. Exactly. Urgh. So <laughs> this is just a quick overview of your dashboard. You can see uh, what your job, what your roles are, set some goals. If you're looking at earning a full credential, put that in here, make that your goal, set a timeline for yourself. Or if you're looking just to fill gaps of, of knowledge, that's also a goal that you can put on here. And then the assessment itself, that's just a quick snippet to show what that looks like when you're inside the self-assessment tool. Exactly. It's a really good visualization to kind of help you understand what to expect when you get logged in. That's right. So, so far we've talked about two different ways to figure out where you are in your pathway for learning and your journey. One is the career compass. Gail had mentioned it it's just a few questions and it really is. It's if you know that you want to start training, maybe you're looking at, hmm, do I go for essentials or should it be FMP or maybe my SFP? Am I ready for my CFM? That's a great place to go to. But if you really want to assess your knowledge, the knowledge assessment tool is, is what you want to do, the self-assessment tool. Next slide, please. And we're just gonna give it away. <laughs> For the next week, if you would like to see where you are and really, like Kim said, do that deeper dive into yourself to see what goals you have. Maybe you don't have any goals and this can help you get started. Send an email to corporateconnections at ifma.org and we will help you get into that self-assessment tool for a limited time. <laughs> Act now. Exactly. <laughs> and, and I will say I, it's a nominal cost. Um, we want you to go in and complete this. And we have found that humans are, uh, if it's free, we'll get around to it when we get around to it. But if you have a little investment in it, you don't want to waste your money. So if you're a IFMA member and you miss this, it's $25. If you're not an IFMA member, it's $50. And again, once you 
set up your account and you've got this self-assessment tool, it is yours as long as you have an active email address. You can always go back in and update it. So now through November 23rd, one week. And if you get in, you take the self-assessment test or tool, you use it. And uh, let's say that you take, you sign up today, you take the next week, you will still be able to have time if there are knowledge gaps and you want to fill it in to take advantage of additional savings. So if we can go to the next slide, if any of those competency courses, if you saw real estate and you're like, ah, I really haven't had a chance to use or, or be involved in that from an FM perspective, you can take 50 bucks off any one of those competency courses. Um, that's your learning 50. If you want to take 100 off the core competency course bundle, so those would be the seven. The other four can be purchased individually, but those that make up the FMP, I would really encourage you if you know that you need to build that foundation. If you're saying, Kim, I don't even have to take the self-assessment test. I've been in here maybe a year. I know I need to really dig deep into those four areas. Then do the FMP bundle. Um, take a look. Cyber Monday sale is coming. So if you don't have this written down or you're watching this webinar and we're after these dates, hopefully Cyber Monday has not passed. Please be sure to go to our website and check it out. And as the disclaimer says here, you do not have to be an IFMA member to use these discounts. It will be taken off of the standard price. But if you're a member and you will see that there's a lot of advantages to being a member with IFMA, then it will be that amount off of the member price, which is definitely a savings. And um, just want to open it up for some questions. I am seeing emails coming through requesting to be enrolled. So this is great. Oh, that's fantastic. I love it. Um, I think we have a question from Dr. Ansari. Uh, it says, please let me know about asset management leadership course for executives. So if it's about leadership, um, leadership is leadership and strategy is going to be where you want to go. Asset management would be kind of a topic on its own. Um, and I would just recommend take a look at those 11 competencies. Uh, also, go in and see what, what we cover because, again, this is going to be from facility management. So if you go into our self-assessment tool and look at those competencies, the questions there will give you an idea of the topics and subjects that we cover in our course materials for each one of those competencies. Yes. As we're waiting just to see if there's a few more questions coming in or if everybody's like, okay, I got my code. I'm going to go in and <laughs> get the self-assessment now. Um, Gail, what do you find is the most common question that you get asked when people are, are considering our training? They really do want to know like where to begin. So I always ask, you know, like what experience you have? What do you do in your daily um tasks just to kind of help narrow down where we should start if and most people to be honest they do need that foundation and so fmp is going to be generally where we send people um, and i'll usually have that good conversation with them send them sometimes the tables of content just so that they can understand like you just said what do they expect to learn out of either the individual module? Because maybe they want that project management. They understand what they're going to get out of that. But maybe leadership and strategy, they don't know. So I will offer to send them tables of content just to make sure that it is truly covering the ground that they want to cover when they're getting into this credential. Because, yeah, a credential, they're going to be expected or they should be expected to know that they're going to have to put some time and effort into it. It's not a just a breeze of walking in. Oh, I do leadership and strategy all right. day, every day. So uh, that's going to take me like an hour to get through. And we trust do, me, we hear not. operations and maintenance <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Trust me. It's not um, because I will offer this little piece of advice. Don't come at this and how your personal experience from your jobs um, are going to like, I just lost my train of thought. So I think, think where you're heading is we're, we're at a global standard, right? Yes. Yes. That it doesn't, it's not regional, it's not US centric, it's not European. 
it really is at that global level. No matter where you are in the world, if you're managing a facility, it depends on, like, if we, we rise above just those individual layers and we come up to the more global standards and at that global level, which also can help create efficiencies. Sometimes people will use a word and think they know what it means. And when they use it with someone else, it just means something else for that person. Yeah. So yeah. that can create some inefficiencies in, in understanding what each of you are doing, but also understanding some of those best practices can help create just efficiencies in the way that you're operating and maintaining yes. your facilities. So if you'll keep all of that in mind, whenever you're going through the content, it will truly save you some time and help you comprehend some of the concepts a little bit quicker because you're not focused on how your specific company does said task or mm -hmm. case scenario or case study in the content. It really will help you get through it to understand, oh, yes, up here is where I should be looking, not right here where mm -hmm. we do it in our company or how we do it. Mm -hmm. So, yes, that is, that's what I would offer. Right. And uh, it looks like somebody is going in and using the code, but it says the self-assessment site is requiring a fee. Let us take a look into that, Kurt. Um, but when you put in the code, it may show a dollar amount. But when you put in the, the code that we provided, which if Daniela, if we can pop back up our slide um, so that they can see what that code is again for the self-assessment. We'll go back um, No code for the self-assessment. Oh, they so, don't have to. So okay. Kurt, I actually already have your email. So I will make sure that you are enrolled in the self-assessment tool. Interesting. Yeah. Thank you for letting us know. Um, if we could put up on this on the slide, uh, the slide on the screen, Daniela, our email address, corporate connections at ifma.org. It's a great place to come, whether you're watching this webinar today or five months from now. If something uh, sparks your interest, this is a great email address to have in your um, saved contacts, corporate connections at ifma.org. That's the entire training team here at IFMA. We all see that email coming in and we'll be able to either provide you with the information, help you resolve something. If the system technology isn't being our friend today, um, we'll be able to help you and make sure that you get enrolled. Yes. Okay. One other thing that I did want to point out is if you um, are working with anyone, a lot of times our facility managers may report directly to a CFO or your CHRO, somebody in human resources. We've seen it in both sides. And if they don't really have an understanding of facility management and you know that they have no clue about what you do, Think about the essentials of FM for them because they should also have a learning journey. And since we're talking about being thankful for knowledge, you could be thankful that they actually learn a little bit more about everything that you have on your plate and just how demanding and important a facility manager's role is. So I think that'll be my, my little nugget to everybody as we're heading into our Thanksgiving week here in the U.S. Yes, that's a really actually a really great nugget to to share with everybody. But yeah, we are very thankful for all of you needing or having questions. We're here to help you um, on your journeys. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us today. And wherever you are, um, just be, remember for all of the good things that you're thankful for, because I know you have a lot of stress in your lives and, and that will help offset it in the U.S. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining.